Holy Father, we just want to come before you this afternoon. Everyone, you're joining us in prayer in your homes. Let us just open our hearts to the Holy Spirit. Let's yield to the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We want to pray your will to be done. The will of God that you're going to fulfill in the last days of God. And how you're going to open the heavens and pour out your spirit. And God still in the midst of all this. You're going to raise up the people. You're going to raise up the church. You're going to wake up the nations of Canada. And the nations of the world. And God, every circumstance that we are facing, we are coming boldly to the throne of grace. We're humbling ourselves to the living presence of the living God. And we're trusting you to move by your spirit and open the heavens and pour out your spirit. And move every mountain out of the way. As we yield to the Holy Ghost and fire, as we yield to the divine presence of the Almighty God. Now, God, we open our hearts and we yield to the love of God. And Lord, we shield ourselves under the covering of the blood of Jesus Christ and the covering of the Holy Spirit. We welcome your presence to fill us, every one of us that we coming under the covering of the anointing of God. And God, we ask that you anoint us into the, in, in prayer to enter into the Holy Ghost fire, to rise up above every circumstance only as your anointing anoints us to do, to pray according to the will of God. Because we know if we pray according to your will you heal us, O oh God. Therefore, we come boldly this afternoon, welcoming the presence of the Almighty God. Come and fill us right now. Open our eyes, open our ears. Lord, we yield to your divine mercy.
bring our flesh under submission to the Holy Spirit. We surrender every thought. Bring every thought in captivity to the will of God. We surrender ourselves and yield to the Holy Spirit and yield to the living life of Christ. And we yield to the will of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. And we ask you to come. Let your anointing, let your Holy Spirit make your dwelling place in our hearts. Let your Spirit be charge of our hearts and minds. God, that you will give us direction and guidance according to your will. And now, God, we ask you, God, come down and lead us and guide us. Come and speak to us by the power of your Spirit. And come and teach us. Show us things to come, God. Show us exactly what you have planned for us to do as we yield to you and surrender to you and submit to your love and your truth, even everything that you have planned, God. Now, God, even for the lives of your children, to bring us into unity, bring us into harmony, to bring us into the love of God, and the truth of God, hallelujah. Pour out your spirit now. Oh, 
Remember, I have my hand upon you, and it does not matter what man is going to do, it's what I'm going to do now. I'm bringing people to the end of themselves. They have come to the place that they have nowhere to turn except to me. They realize they can't put their faith and trust in anything in this world. They can only trust in the Word of God and the Spirit of God. And they must dedicate themselves to me without fear or favor of man. Let them walk in total liberty and freedom in a perfect place in my love that cast out all fear. For in my love there is no fear. And then I will give you the boldness and the peace that you need in the midst of the storms of life that's taking place. And at the same time, I'm drawing my people to come into my kingdom. And I'm raising up this church, the church of the living God, my church. Those that are coming into my glory, those who are coming into my power. We take authority now in the name of Jesus. We move every hindrance out of the way. Take my soul and my salia. And I will deliver my people. I will deliver them and set them free by my mighty power. I will heal them. I will bless them. I will open the blessings of God upon them. And I will release my fire and my anointing. And my anointing when it comes in, people will be delivered, healed, and set free in such way that they never imagined was possible. Because I have heard the cry of my people and I will not sit back and let the enemy devour my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of the living God. Because this is my church, saith the Lord. And I will raise up the remnant that will walk with me, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And as you take authority this day, as you find a strong man, and come boldly against them, and be not afraid of his appearances. Be not afraid what he's saying, but know that I am in charge. I have all power in heaven and earth. I rule over all the kingdoms of this world. And it, there is no might and power that can stand against me. But remember, I'm gathering my people to me. And you understand that the enemy is being gathered their people to him. To bring them into a deception and a destruction. That I'm taking them out of the way so they will not interfere with the will and the plan of God that I'm going to accomplish in the last days. Hallelujah. I will open the doors that is closed. I will open the doors and I will intervene and I shall make a way. I will cause my word to go forth as I have prepared even this day. Holy, 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 holy Jesus. Circumstances. 
that's around me. But let my spirit raise you into the place of authority and power that is in me. Yield to my anointing and yield to my word. Yield to my divine love and rest in my spirit and my anointing. Then you shall have victory. Then you shall have authority. Then you shall be free. For I will be in charge by my spirit. And I will declare and release my word by my power. And I shall cause my anointing to come alive in your hearts and minds. I will cause my faith to rise within you as you humble your flesh and your mind and your thoughts to my living presence of the living God. You will know that my word will go forth then. And I will call those things which be not as though they were. And as I call them into being, it shall happen. And I shall draw and deliver my people by my mighty hand. For now I am going before you. I'm preparing the way. I'm opening the doors. It's just like when Joshua crossed over Jordan. I opened up the Jordan River so he can walk across. And I will also open the doors that are shut and you just walk over. And you will see the great hand of the living God that's resting upon you. And you will enter into that overcoming faith of my spirit, saith the Lord. Yield to my word now. Abide in my presence. Becoming conscious of my love and my mercy and my truth. Walk in that righteous standard of my spirit and you shall be free. As you continue to yield yourself and be transformed, as you renew your heart and mind, I will bring you into that glorious place and as I begin to sanctify and wash and renew your mind, you're going to come in complete submission to my will and to my spirit and my anointing. And then I shall move and I shall move the mountains out of the way. Hallelujah, Messiah. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. I'm the one that's fighting your battle. I'm the one that is in charge of your heart and mind. I'm the head of my church. Therefore, I'm the one that moves over all the kingdoms of this world. And you are my body, and I'm the head of that body, said the Lord. And I have prepared things by my spirit. And I shall draw the people that will come out of the world, that will come into my kingdom. I shall bring a harvest of souls. I shall cause anointing and compassion and my love that's going to break the yokes by my power of my spirit. And people will be born into the kingdom of God. I shall ignite this fire of my Holy Ghost inside your hearts. I shall awaken my anointing and my power in the life of Jesus Christ within you. And you will know that I am God. Hallelujah. You will know that I'm in charge of your life. I have chosen you before the foundation of the world that you can enter into my holiness and righteousness that is in the spirit. The righteousness is which by the righteousness of the grace and the faith of the living Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, the Messiah, the Messiah, the Messiah. Oh, the Messiah, the Messiah. Just continue to humble. Continue to lay your hearts. Keep laying your minds. Lay down all the 
things that this world is trying to dump on you. Lay it all down and place your faith in me instead. Do not focus on what the world is saying. Focus on what my spirit is saying. Hear me. I will free you and set you free by the power of my spirit.
Holy Father, Jesus, lead us into all truth. O Lamasita, Namasita, Namataya.
worship the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. And kneel to his holy presence. Hallelujah. Oh. Those who have chosen to put all these restrictions and stopping those who are not vaccinated to go and minister or to enter any facilities to do any volunteer work whatsoever. Holy Father. Holy Father. And since the only ones are allowed to be there are the ones that have been vaccinated. And when these things will break out and everything starts happening, when the chaos begins to hit these places because they claim that they're protected and so forth, things are going to get out of hand. And there's going to be great panic because now they realize all that precaution to protect them is not protecting at all. And they're going to be filled with such a panic they don't know what to do. And they realize that the restriction has only protected them who have not taken the shot. The restrictions are keeping them safe who have not partaken. And it's going to become so real, it's going to scare the people and the panic is going to come into the land. And people will begin to look for help in all directions. And they'll begin to turn to all men's wisdom to try to find a solution to the what's happening in their lives and they will not find it in the world. It is then that I will use my people that will begin to minister to them that will have people who will humble, who will come to the end of themselves to come to Jesus to give their lives to God and and will surrender their hearts and get right in their hearts and in turning from their wicked ways to serve a living God and they will come into my kingdom and I will deliver them and set them free by my spirit. I will deliver them and do signs, wonders and miracles. I will cause such miracles to place take place that will astound the people that people will not be able to comprehend or understand how it's possible because what their lives were before and after is a two different things. One minute they're sick, next minute they're completely healed by the grace of God. For I know my people who are there who has been there bought into bondage and, and those who I have chosen called to come into the kingdom of God and they will be drawn by my spirit to come to me so I can heal them. And once they get set free, they will be able to go out and they will be able to tell the testimony of what God has 
on in their lives and, and all those people that are being afflicted and, and, and being afflicted in all these different ways are now going to open up and be drawn because they realize if God can do it for them that God will have mercy on them and they will begin to humble and pray and be drawn and so there shall be a great move of my spirit like we have never seen and I'm doing a new thing I'm doing a thing that nobody will understand in the natural it will be supernaturally taking place and people will come into God's kingdom and they will be healed and delivered they will be set free because they turn their faith and trust not in themselves nor put their trust in man nor put their trust in the things that 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 we think may have any hope but they only put their complete trust in the living god and that is in jesus christ our lord Prepare yourself, draw nigh to me, and heal yourself to my anointing and my power. Let your hearts become pure and holy, filled with mercy and forgiveness. As I have laid down my life, so I can heal and deliver my people. So as you lay down your life and yield to my Holy Spirit, and my anointing and I will place that same compassion of anointing and love inside you that you will be able to minister by my spirit to them that are lost and they will come to me said the Lord they will come to my anointing they will come to my spirit they will come to my word and to my life that's the only life that can set me free your loved ones, your children, your neighbors, your friends are going to come. They're going to come from far. They're going to come from near. I shall cause this thing to open up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
Amen. 